finally we can make a bone for this uh, cape over here and uh, then we can make this uh, a bone for the shield over here uh, uh, the bone that we create for the for the cape will be a child of this uh, 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 will be a child of the body bone so yeah just uh, click on the body bone and uh, click uh, create uh, hold down control uh, click on the cape and just uh, create a bone for that maybe you make a mistake uh, and create a bone that you don't really like uh, just no problem hold down uh, hold down alt and uh, make a new bone like so there you have our bone for the for the cape now uh, we can uh, make a bone for the shield as well but uh, before we uh, make a bone for the shield let's say let, uh, let's just click on the let's just navigate uh, to the slot for our shield and just hide it and if we hide it we realize that uh, wait let me just hide the glow for the shield as well and when when you do that you realize that oh god we don't have a hand uh, over here uh, what if his shield drops uh, it will uh, look really weird if he doesn't have a hand over here so how do we solve that issue well uh, it's really simple you go here on images you uh, expand it and uh, you just uh, you just uh, look for yeah, yeah. basically uh, wait wait where was it there you go the right arm lower and the right arm upper uh, basically the left arm and the right arm uh, of this character are the same so uh, we can use the same assets that we used uh, over here uh, as assets for the right arm so just select these two assets right underscore arm underscore lower and right underscore arm underscore upper and just drag them here like so and place them yeah, just select them uh, drag them out here and then just select the asset that you want to move uh, click translate and just move it in its appropriate place now you want this part uh, of the asset to be uh, th uh, this asset to be uh, behind this asset and in order for us to do that just uh, minimize this uh, root bone here minimize the folders uh, options here and just expand the draw order and then write underscore arm underscore upper to just click on this click on this and just drag it so that uh, so that it's behind this asset here now we have the now we have the what do you call it the the right arm as well we can just uh, we can we can go on root again we can select these two uh, assets and just uh, move them around until we are happy with how they've been placed we can also click on scale we can also scale them okay uh, right now these are being scaled separately we don't want that we want these to be scaled uh, together so yeah I think we can just uh, do that by clicking here on world go on axis and uh, world click world and oh wait the problem is still there so sorry about that just ex just 
yeah just uh, scale them a bit scale them up a bit and uh, move them around until you are happy with their position and you take this uh, right hand open and you can just uh, move it and uh, rotate it until you're happy with uh, its position and now what you want to do is you want to uh, remember we had hidden the shield yeah we want to uh, unhide the shield and the shield glow we want to select these two and we want to move them yeah we want to move them so that the fingers uh, of our right hand are hidden what we also want to do is right now the right hand uh, the right arm uh, is in front of the shield in order to rectify that we have to again uh, uh, collapse the root and go we have to collapse this here uh, the root folder and we have to go here in the draw order section expand it click uh, uh, locate the assets that we want uh, to uh, locate the uh, right underscore arm underscore lower asset and right underscore arm underscore upper asset and just uh, move them so that they are move them in such a way so that they are below the shield like so and yeah so y you can see the problem has been rectified yeah so now we have created the left uh, the right arm as well which was not there before and now we want to make a bone for this arm so just create the click the bone that you want uh, uh, click the torso bone right and then uh, because the torso bone would be the would uh, will be the parent of the right arm bones so yeah just uh, click on the torso bone and uh, click create and hold down control and uh, just locate the PNGs for uh, the right upper arm here it is uh, holding down control just click on this uh, whoa we don't want to select all these different bones so just press escape and uh, just uh, click on the body bone again hold down uh, make sure that create is selected hold down control and just uh, select the single PNG uh, called arm underscore upper underscore uh, any right underscore arm underscore upper yeah we have this PNG selected and now we can uh, create a new bone for it again we hold down control and uh, we um, locate the right underscore arm underscore lower uh, PNG and just click it and uh, create a bone for this as well and then we can uh, locate the hand bone the right hand open uh, hold down control make sure that create is selected hold down control and just uh, click on this uh, PNG and then uh, make a bone for it now once we have uh, bones for our right arm uh, once we have these uh, these bones for our right arm uh, we can make the arms uh, we can make the bone for the shield now uh, we want uh, the shield to be a parent of uh, sorry a child uh, we want the shield to be a child of this bone here uh, right underscore arm underscore lower so just uh, click on this bone here uh, hold down control and uh, click on the shield oh we don't want to click on all those images nope uh, select this bone right underscore arm underscore lower hold down control and uh, click the shield and hold down shift we want to uh, click on the shield underscore glow as well uh, holding down control and shift just 
click it and then uh, now we can control uh, we can create a bone for our shield like so and here it is here is the bone for our shield here and underneath it we have the slot for our shield uh, and a slot for our shield underscore gl glow so yeah that's it we have uh, when you move this uh, shield uh, when we move this bone the shield moves with it and when you move this arm the shield moves with it as well and if we were to click on the shield bone and we were to hide these two slots shield uh, and shield underscore glow we can see that when we move our right arm when we move these bones uh, yeah everything looks good everything is moving with the cat uh, everything is moving uh, as it should right so the last thing would be to uh, uh make a bone for this uh make a bone for this uh what do you call it uh the sword so just rotate it like so wait 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 we want to we want to uh we want to go on route we want to select a sword we want to select a sword underscore glow and we want to rotate both of these wait no we don't want to no, we can't rotate both of these together nope they don't actually yeah we can we just uh, rotate these like so right we click on translate we just move them here we click on the sword underscore glow attachment and we uh, manually uh, eyeball its position where it ought to be yeah this looks fine now we want uh, to create a bone for this uh, for this uh, for the sword and we want uh, that bone to be a child of this uh, left hand bone left hand uh, bone so we just uh, click on this uh, bone called left underscore hand underscore open and um, what we do is we click on create we um, hold down control click the sword and hold down control and hold down shift and uh, click on the glow and now uh, we can uh, create a bone for the sword like so sword here here you see the bone has been created and underneath the bone uh, this uh, the sword png uh, the sword the slot for the sword and the slot for the uh sword underscore glow have been placed automatically by spine uh and once we uh when we when we rotate this bone everything looks good when we rotate the arm the sword moves with the arm um when i uh, yeah uh So yeah, things things look pretty good. Uh, I think that's it for uh, we've rigged the character uh, pretty well. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how to solve some of the problems uh, in this character. Or basically, I will be talking about meshes and how we can uh, use mesh meshes to uh, to improve the movement of the joints. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I, I'll see you in that video. I'm really sorry uh, this video uh, turned into uh, <laughs> turns uh, so long. Uh, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, again, uh, do let me know. I will try to get back to you as fast as possible. And I really, really hope I was as clear as I pos uh, I was clear in my inst uh, in my demonstrations. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for uh, sticking by.